Hey guys, it's Yuta. So, when I made a video about how insults in English are often about masculinity, people wanted to know more about how Japanese people actually insult each other. So, this video is about that. By the way, I totally didn't make this video so that I can insult in public freely. And this video contains explicit language without censoring, so you have been warned. First, I'm going to talk about simple insults, the kind of name calling that people say in person, face to face. And here, I'm only going to talk about insults I've personally heard or I could find YouTube videos where people actually say in person. And in this regard, Japanese insults are kind of limited. Because in English, it's pretty simple. I've watched a few YouTube videos listing insults I heard, and I already heard jerk, moron, faggot, bitch, cunt, scumbag, idiot, and motherfucker. And I've personally heard people say the classic fuck you in the street in the United States several times. But in Japanese, this kind of simple insults most grown-ups didn't really say in person. So I watched many YouTube videos of angry Japanese people and I only heard three simple insults. The first one is probably something you already know. Baka, which means stupid. The second one is Bakatare which is similar to baka, and some old people seem to use it. The last one is aho, stupid. But comparing to English insults, those Japanese insults sound pretty soft. So, does that mean Japanese people don't quite insult each other in person? Well, not quite. But there's a Japanese way, and that's breaking social conventions. Now, if you want to understand how Japanese people actually insult each other in person, you need to understand the hierarchy in the Japanese society and also a little bit of Japanese grammar. So the Japanese society is very hierarchical and depending on the relationship or who is more important, you have to change the way you speak. Japanese has different levels of politeness. Now, you can categorize the levels of politeness in different ways, but mainly there's two types of Japanese. Polite Japanese and casual Japanese. I'll give you some examples. There's a verb, oriru, which means to get off, as in get off a train or car. Now, if you just say oriru, it means I get off. Now remember, the subject of a Japanese sentence is implied, so you have to guess from the context. So, oriru can mean I get off, he gets off, they get off, we get off, depending on the context. But let's just say it means I get off in this context. And if you just say oriru, it's casual Japanese. You can also ask a question. Oriru? And this means, do you get off? And this is again, casual Japanese. So if you are on the train with your friend and if you want to ask your friend if he gets off at the next station, you can ask, Oriru? Do you get off? Oriru? Now, Oriru has a polite form, which is, Orimasu. Again, if you just say orimasu, it can mean I get off, but this is polite Japanese. Also, you can ask a question the same way. Orimasu, do you get off? Or you can also say orimasu ka? Now this ka is called a particle. In Japanese, has many particles, but you can use ka with the polite form to make a question. Now, if you mostly speak casual Japanese with your friends or family members, or maybe people who are significantly younger than you, and you speak polite Japanese with strangers, 
your boss, some co-workers, or your clients. Now this is more like a guideline than the rule because it really depends on the kind of person you are and the exact people you're talking to. But generally speaking, it's like that. Now, what would happen if you spoke casual Japanese when you're supposed to speak polite Japanese, casual Japanese to a complete stranger who is older than you? And that's how you insult people in Japanese because it can be very rude. Now, let me give you some examples using the verb oriru to get off. If you want to ask your friend to get off using the verb oriru, you can use a form that is called te form. Orite. So you can say to your friend, orite. Now, the polite form is to add kudasai to say, orite kudasai. But this is often kind of too direct. So people would say something like, orite moraimasen ka? Wouldn't you please get off? Actually, Japanese police officers often talk like that. So when they pull you over, they would politely ask you, Sumimasen, chotto orite moraimasen ka? And this is a polite way to talk to a stranger. Now let's continue with the driving situation because people tend to be pretty angry when they drive. And if you are angry, then ask another driver to get off the car. You can say, Chotto orite, using casual Japanese because it would sound rude. This is already pretty rude, but you can actually be more insulting. You can use the imperative form which is oriro, get off. Many Japanese people don't actually use imperative forms at all because it's pretty rough and rude. For example, I would never use the imperative form. So if you use that, you can be as insulting as you can be. Oriro. And you can be even more insulting by adding baka, stupid. So you can say, Oriro baka. Get off, stupid. Now, let's explore some other options. And if you've learned Japanese, you've probably learned this word, anata, which means you. And this is actually the polite way of saying you in Japanese. But in fact, we don't really use anata that often because it sounds pretty direct and invasive. Remember, Japanese sentences don't need subjects. So you don't have to use I, you, he, she, they at all. And that is why people tend to use anata more often when they are angry. You can say, Chotto anata, orite kudasai. Hey, you, please get off. Now, this is still polite Japanese, but with the right kind of tone and anata, it can sound kind of rude. And there's also rude versions of anata, you, in Japanese. For example, you can say, Anta, omae, teme, kisama. And if you watch Japanese anime, you've probably heard those versions of you because anime characters tend to be pretty rude. So you can use these with rude Japanese and say, Teme oriro baka. You, get off, stupid. And that is pretty insulting. So Japanese has many subtle ways of making sentences rude. Now let's talk about how Japanese people indirectly insult other people who are not present. And that's also how people often insult other people on the internet. So these are some of the words and expressions that I could find on the internet. As you can see on the internet, people say things that they wouldn't say in person. Now, the most important ones are Kimoi, Uzai, and Mukatsuku. These words are very, very common. So. You have to remember them if you want to learn Japanese. Kimoi comes from kimochi warui, which means 
Gross, disgusting, nauseous, or creepy. Uzai comes from uzatai, which means annoying. And mukatsuku originally means something like nauseous, but it often means irritating or something that makes you angry. There's also rude ways of addressing other people, such as koitsu, this person, aitsu, that person. So on the internet, you often find people write something like koitsu kimoi, koitsu uzai, koitsu mukatsuku. Now you can actually use these words and expressions in person if you want to. And maybe like a rude teenagers, they say those things to each other. Or people might say those things among close friends. But I just couldn't find actual examples of grown-ups say these things uh, to strangers. Because probably it's too rude or the rude ways of speaking that we discussed earlier should be enough to be insulting. However, they might say those things behind your back, saying, I too zai, that person is annoying. So, as you can see, how Japanese people insult each other can be pretty different from other languages. And I've noticed that insults in English and actually also in Spanish, they're often very sexualized, or they use sexual words like fuck, cunt, hijo de puta, puta madre, things like that. But Japanese doesn't really have those words. Well, technically we do have those words, but people simply don't use them, even on the internet. And I think because in Japan you generally have to be very polite with each other, especially with strangers, breaking those social conventions and changing the way you speak to be more casual and rude, that's enough to be pretty insulting. And if you want to learn Japanese and understand Japanese culture, understanding those subtle differences is very important. Because you don't want to be rude unintentionally. And Japanese textbooks and apps don't really explain those nuances. So if you want to learn Japanese with me, I can send you some free Japanese lessons by email, so click the link and subscribe to my email group. Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.